Hello. This is something that every RVer should have in their emergency kit for RVing. This is waterproof repair tape. It comes in a silver finish and this stuff works really, really well. If you acquire any holes or if you have to do a quick um, fix on a seam in the roof or something, it works almost like Eterna Bond. I've had it up on my roof for t over two years now. Um, let me see if I can open this and show you what it looks like on the other side. It's a little breezy out here today. So what it has the silver waterproof on one side. Make sure you get the waterproof kind. The other side has a coat of rubber butyl on it. And this little blue strip just peels away, just like you turn a bond so that you can seal it down to the surface that you are applying it to. So, but it is waterproofing repair tape made by Nashua Tape Products. I bought it at Home Depot and I believe it's about $10.68 per roll and the roll is 10.9 yards and it is 1.89 inches wide so I'm going to go up on my roof and inspect it okay I hope you can hear me it's really really windy um, it's a good thing to get up on your roof from time to time the old Eterna Bond is actually tearing back it is all caulk concealed underneath there, but I'm going to wash this roof and seal that back down with the uh, silver tape. It's been a while since I've washed the RV, but I'm not going to wash the whole RV. I'm just going to wash the roof so that I can reseal down these little problem areas. While I'm up here, I'm going to inspect where they rebuilt my overhead cab and sealed it down. I need to get a new strip of turn up on. I just feel better that it's covered with that as well. You can kind of see that little spot right there where the silver tape is showing through. When I took it back to have it repaired again, I don't know. I just. I thought they were going to take the, all that off and put the strip down. They put the strip down, but they put it on top of all that. So, and just because it's such a mess now, I am going to get some Eterna Bond and just run it across my roof line, just as a precaution. And while I'm up here, although I did my clearance lights not too long ago, I'm just going to inspect them while I'm up here. When I had the RV in, they put a new coat of lap sealant around my vents also. The coat of lap sealant around my little beads of it around that vent and that vent. Preventative maintenance is a good thing. I also dragged my a water hose up here with me, tied it off. So that won't fall on the ground. Need to go down and get a bucket and some soap and my car wash brush and I'm going to go ahead and wash my roof. And uh, then I will fix the little tiny areas like that. It's dumb. I didn't realize my nozzle was on and I turned on my water and heard it running. And my camera's sitting right here, right by this mop, or by this car wash brush. I'm really glad I didn't kill it. I can't believe it's okay. I just dried it off real quick, and it didn't get saturated. Whew, that was not smart. So I will turn off the hose head, and then go down and turn on the water, and take my camera with me. I have poured some soap into this bucket, and got the bucket and car wash brush up to the roof and it's amazing how quick, quickly you can move when you think things are getting destroyed. Wow. I'll tell you what else is a whole lot of fun is when your hose falls off the roof. I 
that didn't happen, but it can. <laughs> it has happened before. And I'm just using the regular old RV pink stuff, pink soap that you use on fiberglass RVs. I have roof cleaner, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just, I just want to wash the roof real quick, let it dry so that I can fix that bad spot. See if I can get those little spots off my refrigerator vent. Oh yeah, they're coming right off. In a few weeks I'll come up here and really, really clean this roof like it needs to be. And get some Dicor rubber roof sealant and reseal this roof. Uh, like I said, I do it once a year, and I usually do it in the spring, and I did not get it done this spring. So I will do it in a few weeks when the weather gets a little bit cooler and I can tolerate being up here for longer periods of time, because that's a day project. Okay, so the roof is washed. Not perfect, but better than it was. It got all the grime off um, that little bad spot. It's, it doesn't actually... It, there is no opening, I just want to seal it off because that eternal bond could eventually lift up and although it's sealed underneath, I just, it's precaution. So, and the roof will look much better once I put the new rubber roof coating on. Not real happy with this work up here. So I'm not real happy with this area. They've had to lift it a couple of times um, through the rebuild. And I don't think they did the best work. I've got ripples on the rubber roof part. I took a trip and this part... It's not going to zoom out. Hold on this part right in the center uh, I got up to Pennsylvania and it was lifted that is where the silver weatherproof tape came in really handy because I got up on the roof cleaned it and adhered it back down before I had another huge problem otherwise I would have lost all the work that they did I bought this motorhome in 1996 um, it's been a learning experience. It hasn't been a terrible learning experience. I kind of like working on it. Um, and I learned about the rubber roof thing about a couple years later, about resealing your rubber roof yearly. We had a bad rainstorm and I had a leak in my ceiling. There is a light between this vent and the air conditioner in the ceiling and it started dripping through it. And I thought, what the heck? And then I realized that it was actually water pen was penetrating through the rubber roof membrane because it needed to be resealed. So that was actually an easy fix. And if you can do it yourself, it's even a better fix. So, and you can see where the roof is graying. That's the uh, rubber roof that's just wearing off from weather and elements. So in a few weeks, I will put new die core down and we'll be good to go. And I will get some Eterna Bond and reseal the front end cap because I do not like the way that looks at all. It's always good to get up on your roof and inspect it 
Actually, it'd be really good to get up on your roof and wash it once a month and inspect it once a month. And inspect everything. Inspect around things. Make sure there's no holes anywhere. Make sure there's no leak spots. Make sure all the caulking looks good. Make sure the lap sealant looks good. Um, check out your awning. Make sure it all looks good. And you will be a happy camper if everything's working properly. And this is how you get your hose back down. One thing I don't like is how the water is puddling on that too. I was going to run a strip of silver tape over that, and I still might, until I can get some Eternal Bond, because I probably can't get any of that till Friday, and today is Wednesday, and we're supposed to get some thunderstorms starting tomorrow. So, but I don't like the way that water stands there in puddles. So this is the spot I'm going to fix. I hope you can hear me. It's pretty windy. Tape. A pair of scissors to cut the tape with. It'll be done snippity snip. Okay, I cut off a generous piece. Peeled off the blue backing off the rubber butyl. And just place it down. Sealing it well as you go. Okay, and as a precaution, I will do that on the other side, and I'm just going to go ahead and do all the posts up here, which are only three on this rack. Okay, this one's done, and I like it because you can pretty much form it around the post, and seal it down really well around the post. So, and I only ended up doing two posts right now. I'll come back up tomorrow and do the third one because there's water in it. So I need it to dry out first. I don't want to seal down moisture. So we'll let that dry. Okay, I came out and got the third one on. The ones on the sides are fine. I want to just have to replace those, the vent cap thing. Those are fine. So, it was just the ones I had on the Eterna Bond that I wanted to doubly insure. And it's starting to sprinkle, so I better get to the front and get it finished. Okay, well, I got it partially ran. I wanted to run it over the strip that is underneath all this caulk and everything. But that area was still puddled, and it started to rain on me, so I had to quickly get it down as quickly as I could. So, and this is just mostly for preventative maintenance. So, shoot. So I guess later on I'll have to clean this off again and dry it and finish the job when the weather's a little bit better because it's really getting gray and sprinkling. So I hope this series on the rubber butyl silver tape can be of help to others that need to know about these kind of products. It's something that every RVer should have. Keep on hand for emergencies or general maintenance purposes. Take a lighter. Well, at least I got off the roof before this happened. Was not expecting this. 
Hmm. That wouldn't have been a whole lot of fun coming off the ladder, would it? On top of a slippery rubber roof? Nah. Glad I got off. <laughs>